Welcome to the inside of our RV. Um, here we have our fire extinguisher. We opted to put the bigger one here and we have the smaller one uh, by the kitchen. Uh, this is where we hang our dog leashes. Very convenient place to hang things. And then over here are our recliners. Love the recliners. They extend out. The only thing I don't always love is pulling, yanking this this lever right here. It's at sometimes it gets stuck and it's hard to pull. But other than that, they're very comfy. As you can see, Callie and Domino also love using the chairs. We also swapped out the light switch. It now has a dimmer so you can easily turn your lights down or turn them up. Our trailer came with a North Cold uh, 8 cubic foot refrigerator. We also added the Accurite um, temperature sensor so we know exactly what temperature our refrigerator is at. Let's look at the inside. One of the things that I like to do is I like to use the dollar store baskets here because it's a convenient way of keeping things in in the freezer. I use them in the freezer as well as the refrigerator and they have holes so the air circulates through. I can um, easily hold two weeks worth of groceries in the refrigerator and freezer. This is what the refrigerator inside looks like so as you can see again the baskets are just a real convenient way of putting things in there and moving it back in again when we travel i like to use these on the shelves like this just so that things don't move around i don't necessarily use it on the ones that have the baskets only the top ones okay let's take a look at the pantry i would have loved to have been a little wider but it has sufficient storage um, one of the things I did was add the the shelves so it, so I have a top shelf and a bottom shelf and it does go way in so there's plenty of room for stuff the only tricky part is sometimes I have to pull things out to reach what's in the back but the baskets again and the little shelves um, make make it for really easy storing so one of the things it was kind of dark in the pantry so Jim added these sensor lights and now I can easily see what's way in the back so I really like that new feature that we added. So we swapped out um, the fire extinguishers. We put the one that um, the, the RV came with here and we have the bigger one over there. Over here is the microwave. I really like the fact that the microwave is, is lower because it's hard for me to reach things that are high up given the fact that I'm so short. Over here is our stove. Love the stove, works really well. One of the things that we added was the stove wrap and that's this right here. It really helps with all the spills that happen. I can easily pull it out and wash it. We have it here and we also have it in the oven put it on the bottom shelf here but I could easily move it um, and in here we have the pampered chef rectangle st uh, stone and it really really I leave it in here when we travel because it really doesn't budge it hardly moves at all and it really helps to distribute the heat this is kind of a, a, a nice cabinet in the sense that it's got room for my bowls up here some cups here down here I had to really think about how to utilize this uh, storage area because it, it's at a triangle kind of angle. So what I did is I got a, a dish rack and this, this is a great way of storing the plates here and bowls down here and then when we are on the road I just put an extender bar here and then I also use a bungee cord from here to here. This is how we use the bungee cord here so that way the plates don't fly out should these cabinet doors open but also we use the bungee cord on the stove because on one trip we got back in and the oven door was completely open so but this has ensured that the oven door does not open. We also have a cabinet underneath the microwave and it's really huge. Normally I keep a spice rack right there when, and it, it goes way back so I'm able to keep lots of uh, kitchen utensils and, and pots and stuff back here. I love the deep uh, drawers here but it was a challenge to try to figure out how to put everything in here so one of the things we did added the drawer dividers and then we purchased these uh, little uh, containers on Amazon and they fit very nicely right in here. 
and you can fit up to four. On some drawers I have four, on some drawers I have two. Love the garbage. This is where the garbage can lives down here. It has a lid. Uh, you could ease, there's a little door on that side that you pull out the garbage can from. That's uh, really nice, especially with the dogs. They won't get into the garbage this way. So this is a spice rack normally, but because I like to keep my spices in a different place, I decided to use it for the rod extenders, giving a convenient, easy place along with the bungee cords. It's a perfect place for those kinds of things. Okay, we have the farmer sink and I love it because it's so big, but one of the challenges was where to put the dishes. And so got this on Amazon and it's perfect. This dish rack fits perfectly right here. The cabinet down here, Underneath is where the water pump lives and then as you can see there's lots of space It's nice and tall. So I was able to put uh, basket organizers in here. Our dinette comes with the bench seating. This um, table of course converts into a bed as well. And lots of great storage underneath the bench. Um, a big long drawer as well as some extra storage on that side. It happens on both sides. To show off a few features of the entertainment center here, um, we're actually pretty happy with this Jensen TV. It runs off 12 volt power, which is nice when you're boondocking. I know some people don't like it. The remote totally sucks, but we use a Harmony Logitech remote that I've programmed to control all of this stuff. The Furion radio, the Jensen TV, um, and I've got a Roku box behind here as well. So um, it, it works, it works for us. We've got lots of storage up above in these cabinets. Um, this is the control panel. We'll look at that in a moment. Um, we also love the fireplace. Um, definitely a worthy addition to the titanium models. And I think you can get it as an option on other models. It puts out plenty of heat. Of course, it uses a lot of electricity, so you want to be hooked up to shore power, which we're currently not. So this is just for show. It's not actually putting out any heat at the moment. And this is the control panel location. So this is kind of the heart of all of your monitors. Um, we've got the gas uh, hot water switch here, electric water heater switch here. Um, we've got the water pump switch here. There's also one in the bathroom, which is obviously convenient if you need to turn the water pump on then. Um, we've got our fresh water tank heater, which I guess is maybe becoming more and more standard on a lot of the products. These are the slide controls for the main slide, the, the chair slide, the power awning. There's also a remote control for those. And then all of the pump, um, all of the tank monitors are here as well. Um, and then the electrical uh, panel is on the side here. So let's take a look at that. On the side of the control panel is where we have our energy monitoring uh, system. So at the top is the Victron uh, battery monitor. Then we have the CCGX uh, display, which really is the heart of the Victron energy stuff. It allows me to program the inverter, charger, converter. It allows us to see how much uh, solar we're bringing in, if we're charging, if we're using more power. Um, all that good stuff and that also works really well in conjunction with the app on the smartphones Then below that is the Lippert one control panel um, This is kind of the heart of the auto leveling system. That's pretty much all that's set up here in our RV on this one and Then below that is the surge guard panel. That's not currently hooked up because we are currently boondocking, we have no electrical hookup, but this uses Bluetooth so that I can monitor the surge guard energy management system uh, from inside. This is our bathroom. I love this nice big cabinet right here. Um, again, added some, some baskets in here and to easily access everything. And then down here is the water line drain valve location behind this panel here. Like this nice big shower. Um, one of the things we added is this right here. So you, as you can see, it collects the hair, makes it very convenient to um, collect the hair and dispose of it. And we did have a leak. It happened right here. We were able to caulk it and we no longer have that problem. 
and this is our, our sink and we upgraded the faucet because the original faucet was low. Um, one of the features I'm not as happy with is the mirror location. I am short so I only see half of me so but I do use this mirror right here. This is a much better mirror for me. This is our bedroom. like the fact that we can walk on both sides and easily access everything over here as well. We did add the dimmer on both sides and so so that makes it for pleasant lighting in here. Over here we have two little um, uh, tables here and we have a, a USB, two USB and also 12V outlets. As you can see we have a large uh, um, closet here and we have uh, drawers and, and two shelves so that leaves for lots of storage and then this is a huge closet that has shelving on the back and uh, places to hang clothes as well and we have two of these I his in a hearse. I also love the bench here this is where I can store blankets and extra kinds of things as well as sit down and put my shoes on while I'm getting ready in the morning. In addition to the under the bed storage there are also two huge drawers where I keep linens and one of the things that I do is I have this uh, laundry basket that I keep shoes and other things and I'm able to put two of them and hide it with the bedding. We also have this wonderful entertainment um, center that included a TV, has ample storage. There's storage for c CDs up here and there's storage here and this is where we keep all of our dog supplies down here. And we also opted for the additional air conditioner. We really especially used it during those really hot days and it really made a difference in the temperature. We do have a skylight in our bedroom but it, it gives off quite a bit of light especially at night so we covered it with reflectives using velcro to attach it and that has worked out really well. Well we hope that you've enjoyed this video. We enjoyed making it. We've been really happy with this trailer and we look forward to lots and lots of adventures in the years to come. Thanks!